All right, now we have to just fix out our objectors and it's done. will be like this just like our section which we have created and here also only remaining thing is the flange which we have to create that flange will help us to hold the housing in the picture at the same time the visibility of this plastic material will not be seen from the front side that's why we add that flange And this area also we can eliminate. This is a big pocket here, but here it is okay. And here, so this is a dress up things which I will I will ask you to do into the challenges. Just remove this part. The section here will be gonna look like this. So your task will be just merge it till here with this bodies. Now let's assemble our bulb holders into the housing. It's a BOP part. So I'll show you how simple is it or how difficult is it. First, you should have your bulb holders. We are having our bulb holders into the reflective portions. We're gonna hide the bulb holder. We're gonna now hide the bulb holders and hide the bulbs also for better understanding i am just changing the color of the bulb so it will give you a clear cut indication that this is this is telescope this is this will be amber so this is turn and this will be white Okay, now let's find out the bulb holders. Sorry, bulb holders sitting area. I'm sorry. This three are the sitting areas. I'm gonna make publication of this. Go to the publication. Click on this copy. Go to the master file and here just paste spatial with link update it and now what you have to do you have to define the housing and i'm just gonna make a new body in which i'm gonna define it as housing because this will be my master housing and i'm gonna add this housing into this Now we have the bulb holders, so I'm just gonna have the union trim operation here. Color you can choose whatever you want for the housing, there's no specific requirement for the color. But if you work with the Maruti, they will ask you certain colors. That is their standards. So you can follow that one also. And you can see the bulb holder has been created. Now you can fix your bulb holder into these areas. Let's see. Okay, I just hide the bulb holders from this. Not the bulb holder setting areas. And I'll just highlight the bulb. So now let's take a section and try to understand what happens. Make the Y section cut and see in the 
here you can see this is the setting area of the bulb and is defined location here also so so to make this as a housing part i'm just gonna have this reset properties again and again i'm gonna give one color color if you can want you can choose this one also that is okay color it's up to you now you are seeing a complete housing and there are certain issues still like filleting is missing and now we have to think about how we can fix our reflector bulb we have fixed but reflector okay i just turn on the reflectors this is the solid bodies we have to split the reflectors also so if i take the section because section is very important in lighting industries so you should be aware what kind of section it gonna have because after section only we understand that this will be my housing and it should look like this So my section for the reflector will be like this way and it will go up and again it will come here and merge. Same way it will gonna have here and this will be merged. So let's see. How much gap we having here? It's 2.5 and two point five is sufficient for the ventilation point of view, and then we will decide the vent vent cap position and the fixing of the reflector to the housing. Fixing of the reflector to the housing will gonna take place by the screwing. So what we have we have to do here is I show you in the section. We will create some bosses here and at the same time the housing will go like this and the screw will be seated on the here like this so this we're gonna make and at the same time we're gonna have one boss here and the housing will gonna go like this I'm sorry like this and we're gonna have the screw at this portion and the, for this also we're gonna have two bosses so first let's start uh, modifying the reflector first okay i'll make one more file here which will be called as reflector joining Do we have the same file name? No. Okay, it is already there. Okay. Ah, child part joining we already created. I'm sorry guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the bosses here and then we're gonna have the final joining here. So at this portion when where we have the BOP parts and in this we have the mounting points. In this mounting coordinates we're gonna add the bosses and then at the B creation we're gonna add the bosses location and at the final joining we're gonna add the bosses into the reflector. This is how this structure will gonna work. Let's hide these things and let's focus to creating the reflector first for that we need class a and i'm gonna add one more geometrical set here i'm gonna rename it as 
WIP7. As I said, the housing was the biggest part. Once you completed the housing, the rest of the things are very easy for you. For even head them and tail them cases, the housing is the main critical part. Mm, now we're gonna add one more body and add a thickness to this body. I will make three bodies for the same. Okay, I'll hide this too and add this reflector into this body. Remove command, remove command. Okay. For the same, here also I'm gonna add turn indicator. Remove, remove, okay. And for this also, I'm gonna add this reverse indi reverse reflector. Remove. Just make sure you should hide unwanted models, unwanted bodies, otherwise it will give you same type of errors. As we have these bodies with us, now we're gonna use our offset surfaces. This offset is having 4.5. I will hide this pulse. I'll make the copies and name it as because we have the publication for this, it should not get impacted. So, changing name. Not a big task, should do it. You can make a, a single file if you have the space for the reflectors. I mean, you cannot, if you don't want, then if you have the space, then you can create a single body for in all the three reflectors. If you don't have the space, then you can avoid it. So if I cut down the section now. this is a good condition and before moving ahead I will show you how you can check the regulation points because that is very important 
before moving ahead we should know what should be checked and what should be done I'm gonna rename it as reverse reflector one turn reflector one and then If you want, you just go and reorder the things. Use publication. Copy. Go to the master file. Child part. Paste with link. And it's done. For desktop, you can assign one color. For turn indicator, this color would be okay. For the reverse, white will be the best. Why I am choosing these colors? Because these are the bulb color and these are the regular colors which is required. So better to have the same colors. This is having more dummy area but we can play with the boundary and make it more smooth save it 